episodes, guys. I really want to start by saying I'm super sorry for starting at this time, right? Um, you know when you say you have a new bride or you move into a new apartment, you want to show yourself. Anyways, I said to start a little bit late so that I can show you people that I have changed levels, right? My studio has changed because I'm now a bigger babe with a better lightning, with you know a double colored chair, you know, and kind of thing, right? Um, I like two songs a lot and three songs, but then at the same time, you know, um, I decided to, you know. Upgrade myself a little bit, and this is me saying thank you to Pop Central for you know doing this little you know packaging kind of thing for me. Um, welcome again to Late Now with Soul Spice, and tonight is going to be an open mic night because I'm feeling myself, I'm showing myself because of my new studio. And that being said, I said, you know what, let's take it out to everyone, let's hear people's opinion about what is happening in town, right? Um, I know I love to talk about sex a whole lot, but this is also sex related. Now, tonight I really want to talk about how we women, right? I'm, I'm using the word we because, of course, I'm also a woman, but I'm not in that category anyways. Um, I, okay, so let me, let me say how some women, right, or some ladies have decided by themselves to use their body as the yardstick, right? They've started to use their body as the main thing now, right? If you see me and you're not paying me, don't talk to me. You know, you all know that story going on on social media, right? Um, if you have 20 million, you can actually run through me. You know, if you, if you talk to me in the morning, by evening I'm billing you, that kind of thing. And this is what society is creating to be okay. How women, I'm not going to say girls or ladies, these are women for crying out loud, right? How women have decided by themselves to sexualize who they are, to sell themselves, you know. It's going to be a long one this night, but then hmm. let me calm down. Let me take a break. Let me refresh myself. And then I'll come back and I will dive into this particular topic. I am very into it. I really want to talk about it. I really want to hear your opinion about it. Would you actually have sex for 20 million naira? If someone should give you 20 million, would you, you know, open your legs for just 20 million naira? It's a whole lot of money for some people. And to some people, it's just, what do you get? 20 million. What would I do? You can only buy probably like a bag, a full outfit, a shoe, just a day. Don't forget, your level determines what you know money can buy. But anyways, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram and also Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore and also Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore back up on Instagram as well. Don't forget to follow us because that is our sex toy page. Um, please do also follow us at This Is Pop Central, the only thing that pops sex to your TV screen. Now, on this show, all we do is help bring your fantasy to reality. And tonight is going to be an open mic where we're going to be talking about sexualizing our bodies and how... Women of nowadays, how some women of nowadays, how some ladies or some so-called girls of nowadays have decided to sell off their bodies, right? How they have chosen to say, you know what, I want to be a prostitute, but a daylight prostitute, you know. If you pay me 20 million, I open my legs for you. What's the difference between you and that woman or that lady out on the streets at night? What's the difference? Anyways, only when we're taking a break, and when I come back, we'll be diving straight into the topic, and let's see what I had to say about this body sexualizing and money making machine we have created for ourselves. Don't go anywhere because Soul Spice will be right back. Mm. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Night with Soul Spice. Like I said, today we're talking about how we have, hmm, with our full chest, right? 
decided by ourselves to sell our body for money. Um, you all would agree with me that a particular beautiful lady, right, has decided just by herself to scatter the internet today, talking about if you give me 20 million naira, you can run through me, right? If you give me 20 million naira, you can run through me. If you, if we are at the talking stage in the morning, by evening, I'm billing you. And then I'm asking myself, what is 20 million naira? What? What is 20 million naira? I know 20 million will buy land in a lot of places, but at the same time, it won't buy land in a whole lot of places as well. So the question is, what value do you put on yourself? Right? Um, please note, this is not me judging anyone. This is just me saying this is what we are putting out there for our younger generations to hold on to. Right? To say that, oh, once there is money, anything can happen. Money is not it. Money is not value. Right? A man who would pay 20 million to sleep with you a day, I don't think he would want to put you in the house as a wife. Yeah, yeah, it's, there's nothing in marriage. Marriage is this. More men has come, but please. Please, you have a father, you have a brother. The truth is, do we at any point in time feel it's okay to generalize, to say, okay, all men are the same? No. In as well as so many men, their head no correct. Yes, I agree. So many, their head no day. But we still have those few men that are worth calling husbands. 20 million, how much is 20 million? 20 million cannot open some stores. Oh. 20 million. Do we even know what we're talking about in this Nigeria now? Saying with 20 million, it's okay to run through me. I know there is... I, I, I was speaking to my guest um, two weeks ago. That was Dami, right? The, the um, therapist. And you all listened to how she talked about, you know how a client actually gave her a check to put a figure. She could have if she had wanted to. She could have if she didn't have that high standard value. I'm not saying she's a saint. I'm not saying she's way better than any other person. But I'm just saying we need to get our girls to that point where they understand that money is not it. If you give me 20 million and you run through me today, Somebody else gives you and run through me tomorrow. Who will give you 20 million at your old age? What are you going to project to yourself? And one other major thing we have been doing over years is that we make real genuine men who are working, we make them feel incompetent. We make them feel like they are poor, like they can never make you don't have sense. Guys who are genuinely working to make ends meet. Guys who are really working to build themselves. You see, if you cannot, if you cannot give me money by evening, you are not worth me. Who are you? Who are you? What do you stand for? What's the value? You know, there's always this thing of, oh, what do you bring to the table? You know, what do you have to offer? A man who sees value in you will not ask you what do you bring to the table because he knows that you are more than the table. And so when a man is asking you what do you bring to the table, he doesn't see anything in you. He's trying to find out what you have to offer. Your words, your lifestyle should be what you offer. Your brain, you know, how good you are should be what you have to offer. A man should see you and say, if I build with this one no more, in the next 10 years, I can never be poor. Not you looking for a man who would give you 20 million and run through you. Dear young women, dear married women, I called married women not because I don't know what I'm saying. 
I'm saying because a lot of my women at this point in time also feel they've seen one or two people walk out of their marriage and it's working well. You know, they're looking good. It's all right. I'm not saying stay in a marriage if it's not working. I'm not saying stay in an abusive marriage. I'm just saying don't walk away because you think that all the grass is greener. Because it could be coloring. It probably could be spraying. I think it's time for us to start teaching our kids values. Who you are, what you stand for, what you want in life. I always tell kids something. If there's anything on earth that money can buy, don't ever see it as something too expensive you cannot afford. You probably might not be able to buy it at that time, but if you put your mind to it, you will buy it. Was it made for human? Was it made for someone like you? Yes. Was it made for someone with the same kind of head like you? Yes. So you can actually afford it. You can afford it. I'm going to be opening the phone lines because I want to hear you people's opinion. I want to know what you think, how you feel, you know, about this whole thing. I know a lot of people have come out to say, oh, this particular girl is senseless, she's dumb, she's this, she's that. I'm not going to insult anyone. So before we insult such a person, we need to ask ourselves, who is this person? What is her background like? What is her, ex what is her experience like? Don't forget. Experience sometimes moves you from a good person to a very bad person. She said something about how she dated a married man last year, which she already apologized for. I'm not going to dwell in that, right? How she dated a man last year and, you know, he didn't give her money. He didn't give her money. Why would he want to give you money? Why? Do we really need men to give us money as women? Do we really want to be those women who have to stay back for money? <laughs> See, one of the things we don't understand is sometimes we use certain people as example. You know, she be this person, marry this person, this old man, marry this person. Have you asked yourself why that old man chose to marry that person and not make that person a side chick? Say, men will make you a side chick. Men will make you who you want to be if you have no value you're adding to them. Any man can sleep with anybody. Maybe not all women, but a man can sleep with anybody he wants to sleep with. Depending on the kind of value she puts on herself. So if you're on the 20 million naira value level, why not? Someone will pay you 20 million naira. And they will sleep with you and move on. There's nothing there anymore. But I love the question a particular guy asked this night. And, you know, his question was, if by morning of our talking, stem, or our talking um, term stage, you claim you will build me by evening, would I be right to ask for sex by evening? Since you want to sell your body anyways, would I be right to ask for sex by evening if you want to bill me by evening? Because the question is, what do you have to offer if I have to give you 20 million naira? Your purpose is plenty outside. Cheaper. Way cheaper. There are purpose that are even way better than yours that will not even spend up 20 million naira. Let's not lose our values because of money. Because you see, that 20 million we are calling, say, how much is 20 million naira? <laughs> how much is 20 million naira, really? Let's, let's be sincere. How much is 20 million naira? I don't think 20 million naira can actually, I don't think, based on my level, right, can Hello. actually build a standard one. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Hello, the Now with Soul Spice. Hello, good evening. May I know where you're calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. From Lagos, okay. Do you have a question or you would love to join the conversation? Don't join the conversation. Okay. 
So you know the story of the girl who said, give me 20 million naira and you will sleep with me. Yes, I've been talking around the social media. So, so what, do, what do you think about that? I think firstly, just like you rightly said, what is our background like? Some people act the way they act because of they allow the background to put them in that position. But is that the way you want to live your life? Mm. Is that what you are all meant for? Mm. God created you. God created every human being in his own image. Yeah. You are valued to yourself even as a woman in this nowadays no man every man wants a supportive woman a supportive wife mm. and you too can make up something out of your life you want to become somebody like that said that's a go get that's a, a woman, virtuous woman, you stand for what you know how to do best because God has created you. It doesn't matter whether you're female or male. Yeah. So why do you not want to say, definitely, anybody that says, okay, once I can pay you, you are fine. Is that all you want people to see about you? Is that what you want for yourself at the end of the day? God has created every man being special. Mm. At the same time, we can't continue to allow our background to put us to do some certain things that are not right. You say, oh, it's because of my, you want to let, that means you are telling your background, you, you have put me here and I want to remain there forever. So I believe that if people can change their orientation, it doesn't matter your background, yeah. it's what you decided to bring out of that life God has given to you. And any man will value you for that. And yes. But they will respect you. That's it. And that's just what I think. Uh, people, maybe these new days of Gen Z, people will really call it that people are now doing some certain things. But we can make something better out of our life. God has created us beautifully. said, you are wonderfully and beautifully made. Yeah. In his own image. Come on. Thank you for always putting a smile on people. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm super grateful. Okay, people. So you have heard him say a whole lot, right? You know, God created us in our own image, in his own image. And, you know, we are who he's made us into. Um, the truth is whether we like it or not. Like I said, it goes back to value. We do not value ourselves anymore. Nowadays, what we value is right? We value the money so much that for us, everything we want to do is money. Everything we want to talk about is money. Everything we want to say has to be money related. Why? Just because we want to ride that car, dress well, look good, carry that designer bag. <laughs> I remember someone saying on, um, I think it was, you know, one of the TV sessions this week, she's an elderly woman, you know, someone I respect so much. And she said, when young ladies of nowadays at the age of 20 want to carry LV, as an original LV, what do you want to carry when you turn 50? How do you want to build yourself when you are 50? Now, she wasn't talking about children who were born, you know, who are actually rich children or children whose parents have, you know, trained with LV. There are kids before a year, one year, that are getting LV, you know, a lot of, you know, designer bags. Yeah, we see them all over social media. For you. Knowing fully well the kind of house you come from. Knowing that your parents are either in the village or they're staying in a one-bedroom or two-bedroom flat. 
And the next thing you want to do, after being a big girl, you've gotten an apartment on the island, you know, and everything, you want to carry what? And the worst part is most of these girls don't even have a job. They don't have a job of their own. I'm not saying... <laughs> Hello, good evening, welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? I think we lost that call. I'm not saying don't dream big. I'm not saying don't live your life. I'm not saying don't explore. I'm not saying don't want what you want, to, what you want right? I'm don't try to get what you want. I'm just saying don't do it the wrong way. So everyone who feels their body is the way out, how long can your body sustain Hello? you? Hello? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Lagos. Okay. Do you want to join the conversation or you want to ask me a question? I want to join the conversation. Okay. So I want to believe you've heard the story of the lady who said, you know, with 20 million, you can run through her. What do you think about that? Okay. I think that's very outrageous. And like this, I would not like to use the word stupid, but to me, I don't really think that, that should be a standard. Because we, have, we need to value our body. We need to place the work on our body. Mm. So I have a personal story. Okay. If you would like to hear it. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry? Please go ahead, to sh go ahead and share your story. So when I was in school, I was yeah. 300 in every. So I was so pressed for money and I needed to pay my school fees. Mm. So I met a, a, a man... And it was like, you know, I can give you this money if you can spend the night with me. Mm. So I got up, I looked at him, I said, if, if it's me for me to beg for me to pay my school fees, or if it's me for me to, to stay at home and not attend lectures, I will, instead of me to speak with you. Mm. Two days later, he knocked on my, he, I had a knock on my door. And when I opened the door, he was the one. And he said he has been, he has been thinking about what, what, what I said, said. That for the fact that, even when my school fees was involved, I refused to compromise. Mm. So I don't think any girl should have an excuse to want to sleep with a man because of money or because of designer shoes, bag, and material things. Yeah. He, he paid my school fees till five till five hundred level. Wow. I'll be graduating very soon, and our wedding is on the sixth of May. So I don't think that. Wait, 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 wait. Who's wedding? Sixth Who's of, wedding? Sixth of July. Sorry. Like, I don't think that should be a basis for... Hold on. Are you getting married to, to the man? Behave. Sorry? Are you getting married to that same man? Yes, I am. Wow. That's good. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you very much, Ma. And I love your show. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Ma. Thank you so much for calling. I'm super grateful. Thank you. Yes, ma. You're welcome, ma. Yeah. So, there you have it, right? She could have slept with him if she had wanted to for that amount of money. But the man would have slept with her and he would have walked away for life. Because there would never have been any value that was attached to her. Hello? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Can you hear me? Good evening. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set, please? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Turn down the volume of your TV set, please. Uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Hello? All right. So when you get up, when we get to pick your call, kindly do help us turn on the volume of your TV set or just mute your TV so we don't let you go, right? Thank you so much. You and I heard the lady who just spoke. You heard how she told the man. It didn't matter what she needed to have done. Right. Hello. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. May I know where you're calling from, please? Yeah, I turned down the volume on my TV. Oh, okay, good. So where are you calling from? 
All right, I'm calling from Abakaliki. Abakaliki, okay. Do you have a question or you love to join the conversation? I'd love to join the conversation. Okay, so I want to believe you heard about the story of the lady who said with 20 million naira you can run through her. You know, if you... Yeah, I actually bumped into it this evening. You, you actually did what? I actually bumped into that. Um, I got a clip of that conversation this evening okay. on social media. So what do you think about it? Um, actually, the person in question is someone I've been... Uh, from time to time, bumping into her conversation, and pretty much all her conversation revolves around this very particular topic. She's always saying the same thing, so it's now a pattern that reveals the kind of person she is. And um, I wouldn't be someone who would want to judge somebody mm. because uh, people, people tends to behave mostly based on how they were raised or the environment with which they were raised. Yeah, very Most good. people come from a very broken family. They grew up uh, seeing some things that children aren't supposed to see. Mm. And they grow up and those things they've seen take a whole part of their life and uh, it becomes a pattern and becomes who they are actually. Mm. So sometimes when you look at these things, it's not necessarily their fault. It's not totally their fault. Uh, but then again, change is constant. When people are telling you a particular thing about the way you behave, and that there is need for you to change from such behavior, mm. then you should know that everybody can't be wrong when they are talking about a particular thing yeah. that you are doing mm. that doesn't seem to be right. Yeah, yeah. You, you should think that, okay, yes, there is need for me to change this thing. So I really don't, uh, I really don't appreciate the way this very person goes out in public and then keeping uh, uh, letting people know, letting the younger ones know that it's okay to live such kind of lifestyle. Mm. It, is, it is not good. And one thing that is certain is that no matter what you do, 10, 20, 30 years later, exactly. it will still come up or pop up to bite you in the ass. Let's say the next 10 years, 15 years, she's in her husband's house. She's already had kids. Mm. One of her children will just come, come home one day and show their parents what they saw on, a, on social media about them. Yeah. Even if they don't show them, they will say, okay, my mom once said that so, 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 so is okay. So it's okay for me to do the same. Yeah. How can you portray out there that it's okay? for you to sleep with a man for money, no matter how much it is, just like you've been going out, uh, just like you've been saying it, uh, how much is 20 million? Yeah, how much is it, really? No matter how, I would want to add that, no matter how much it is, even if it's 20 billion, why should what you have to do to get it be open your legs for a man? Mm. There are some things that money just can't buy. And the earlier we start seeing it that way, the better for us. I, I don't know what to say about this very girl, but I, I, I will just keep praying for her and I will urge all of us to continue praying for her because uh, some battles are not physical. Uh, so that's my take on the whole situation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you so, so much for calling. It's all right. Thank you, too. Ah, okay, people. You know, like you heard him say, some battles are not physical. Um, I am not one person to believe deeply in everything being spiritual. Sometimes patterns, speed, you know, um, the way you've been groomed, you know, what you have um, 
you know, planted in you, you know, all those things, you know, your experience, your culture, your tradition, you know, your programming, these are things that form and create who you become. So the question is, who are you? For the women, do you still believe you are, you know, director's wife? Do you still believe, ah, yeah, we must marry a rich man? Or, <laughs> or are you amongst those sets who believe I, myself, am the CEO? All I need to do is just, you know, live my life and enjoy what I have. Are you one of those women who are actually contented with what they have? It's a whole lot of question. The question is, what exactly do you want? And what exactly do you value? On this, I'm going to take a break. And when I come back, we'll be talking more about how women value themselves and what money has got to do with our body, exchanging our bodies for money. Is that right? Or would I say it's just the in thing that is happening now? Don't go in there because Soul Spice will be right back. Soul Spice, I really want to say I am super sorry for what just happened. We had technical issues and, you know, I was just taking off just like that without even any explanation. You know, the way just, you know, you just get yourself or you find yourself getting an orgasm without planning, you know, without expecting it. But just one touch and then you lose touch of your brain and your body and your soul and phew, you are gone. So I really do apologize for, you know, going off at this critical moment. The question, what are those things a lot of parents need to start doing right? What are those things we need to instill in our kids now? What are those things we need our teenagers to know before they are out? I didn't know the truth. You know, I hear a lot of parents say sex is bad. They tell kids sex is bad. And I always say, don't ever tell your child sex is bad because sex is not bad. Do not tell your child sex is bad. Sex is not bad. Instead, tell your child that sex is good because sex education is very fantastic. But the art of sex is what is bad for you at your age. Don't go having sex. But it doesn't make you bad. It doesn't make you bad. doesn't make it bad. Our values and our beliefs that we give to our kids is very important. We need to let our children understand that no is no. It's not everything they want that they get. It's not everything their friend own that you think you need to buy. It doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. Reality isn't that good. So many girls now, they just want to buy the latest things. They want to carry. They want to make the latest hair. They want to do this. But the question is, what business are you running to fund your lifestyle? Who's paying you? As long as you cannot stand alone as a woman to make your money, then you're not. You, you can't call yourself handmade. As long as someone is footing the bill, someone is paying for your store, someone is buying goods in your store. Most times, a lot of women don't even value things like that because they... <clears throat> It's, it's not what they work for. You cannot work for money and then you go and be drinking and be getting high. Just like that every day. No, it must be, it must, it must be free money. It must be free money. Because the kind of money you get to work for, you are calculating to be sure it sustains you. So when next to new one will come, and if you're a business person, you are thinking of how to quickly throw this in business, keep that aside, should in case. Life is sweet. Very sweet. 
But we need to get to the point of understanding that our body is not what we exchange for money. Stop. Eh, if he does not give money, he won't sleep with me. You are your prostitute, but just probably like a couple prostitutes. Your mates are outside, you don't want to be outside. You are doing the corporate one. Why do we think money is everything? Why do you think you won't make more money as a business person, right, than what you make now as, you know, a money for and back for ground person? We all want to be rich. But you see, there are levels to richness. We all can't be rich. We all can be poor. If we don't instill values in our kids today, we will regret it. Please note, I'm not blaming this particular lady's mom. Like I said, we do not know her story, we don't know her experience, we don't know who has broken her heart, we don't know how many times they've broken her heart. You have no idea of the pain and the frustration she's going through. We don't know. All a lot of people want to just do is talk, 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 insult or you're shameless. I get it. It can be painful sometimes. It can be, especially for a man who is working for his money and building his life his own way. He won't put me under pressure. To do what? To marry you. Dear women, stop degrading yourselves. Value yourself so much that even the man cannot ask you what you bring to the table. He dare not ask you what you bring to the table because you are beyond the table. Him having you alone should be jackpot to you. Right? See, to find women with values nowadays is, is almost impossible. Because everybody has a price. Everyone has a price. The question is price for what is what we should ask. If you do not teach now, you will lose out. You will lose out big time. I do not believe any child was born with a particular kind of mindset, no. It is what we make them watch, what they see, what they hear, what they feel, what they taste, is what forms who they become. And so when you have kids, I'm not even saying just girls now, you have kids who are not well trained on how to keep their, um, um, you know, there are things properly, arrange your room, you know, this is your money, save your money, spend this. You know, you have to learn, you have to recycle and recycle over and over again, teach them these things. Because it will pay you. It will pay you in future. I understand when some people feel, well, I don't want this money, I don't like this, blah, 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 blah. I feel all these things happen nowadays because we indulge these kids too much. We try to run away from what our parents, you know, did. We say, well, they've made a lot of mistakes. I don't want to be like my parents. But you are doing worse than your parents. Worse than the train your parents have given you. Life is not really that hard, trust me. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Could you please turn down the volume of your TV set? Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, so I, I think we lost that caller. Mm. 
there are certain things we need to do and there are certain things we need to understand when it comes to training kids. Like I said, contentment goes a long way. Yeah. Knowing your left from right is another thing. A lot of children... Hello? Have... Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Yeah, well, I'm speaking with Boss Picker. Are you what? I'm speaking with Boss Picker. You're on Pop Central TV and you're speaking with Soul Spice. Yeah, well, I'm speaking... Are you what? I can hear. Can you hear me? Okay. So, um, he's having a whole lot of network issues, so we had to let him go, right? So, what exactly do you have to offer these children? Teach them to be truthful. Teach them to be contented. Teach them that what is not theirs is not theirs. Tell them to return whatever they bring from school that is not, that is not their own. And if for adventure, you hear them say, oh, my friend gave it to me. Well, let your friend's mom call me for me to be sure. I don't think I've asked for too much, knowing who my daughter is, who she's moving with, who her friends are. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Uh, Hello. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set, please? Turn it down, the volume of your TV set. Hello, I... I... Okay, so we'll give him some minutes to turn it down. I don't know if he's still there. Hello? Hello? I want to believe we lost him. Right? It's not everything you want that you get. Sometimes you don't get all you want. And that's Hello. it. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Your name is what? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? Yes, ma'am. Where are you um, calling from? I have, I have a little contribution. What's going on, ma'am? May I know where you're calling from? Okay, I'm calling. My name is Sam. That's my call. Okay, could you do me a favor to turn down the volume of your TV set or Barra mute stick, your TV? Barra stick. Okay, so I'm sorry for fire sick, man. Fire sick. He's replying the TV. Hello? Okay, he's gone. Right? So the truth is, we need to understand what we really want. A lot of girls nowadays just want to do everything to wear the best of shoes, carry the best of bags and everything. I don't have a problem with that if you can sustain it. Not you waiting for a man to give you money for you to sustain it. The lady talked about how she dated a married man who didn't give her money. That's someone talking for crying out loud and she apologized for it. Now the question, who is to be blamed here? The lady who dated a married man or the married man who already made a vow and is going against his vows? He's the one going against his vows. I was watching a series, um, I was watching a post this evening where the lady, you know, um, did a, more like A4 paper of her husband's side chick and wrote to my husband, which was pasting all over the world. And I'm smiling because if that side chick should go, another one will come. Another one will come. The question is how many side chicks are you gonna fight? So you grow old. How many? <laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? Calling from Forest State. From where? You're calling from where? Hello? Okay, so I think we lost we lost him there, right? So you just want to have it all. But you don't want to work. In those that we see people build their brand, we see people build a company. Now I just see companies everywhere. <laughs> Hello, good evening, welcome to Late Down Soul Spice. Good evening, man, where are you calling from? Hello. 
Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Okay. Sorry, I had to let you go. I just couldn't hear anything you were saying. Like I was saying, you know, we've, we've stopped building brands. We've stopped building businesses. Now you just, you hit it. You hit it. But we do not understand we need to learn the process of how it's done. Because there is a process. So nowadays, young girls don't want to go through the process. They just want to get to the very end. I'm rich. I'm a chick. Do you know how much my nail costs? Do you know how much my look costs? Do you know how much my outfit costs? That's what we see on social media now. And then shaking and clapping the bomb. Value what you have and value what you own. Hello? Value what you own. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from? I'm calling from Edo Street. You're calling from where? Okada. Okada. Okay. Do you have a question or you would love to join the conversation? Hello? So I think we lost him. I don't know if it's network nowadays or you've just been losing almost everyone. So please, network, just behave yourself. You've been working well before, so just maintain that same speed. Our uh, women, our uh, young girls, our uh, teenagers of nowadays, don't even want to be a teenager anymore. You just want to, you see them fixing their nails, you see them, you know, doing a whole lot of things. We need to get to that point of knowing that, you see this life, it's not about getting so much money. Because what happens when you get an STI during that period of testing and you don't even know who? You don't know from whose body or how you got it. Life is not that hard. It's not about carrying the LV and the, the Dior and this and that. No. I'm not going again. I'm not saying don't carry it. Carry it if you can afford it. With your full chest, carry it. But don't demand for something you cannot afford. Though. Do not demand for something you know you cannot afford. That's my issue with a lot of people. You can't afford something you are demanding for, the, for that thing from a man. Uh, can you buy, could you just, can you buy it yourself? Can you buy it yourself? Practically not. So why do you what you cannot afford? What you know you cannot afford. So if a man is talking to you in the morning, by evening you are beating him. When they talk to you in the morning, nobody's asking you for sex at night. We can do better as parents, trust me. It starts from home. Values, morals, belief system starts from home. Entitlement starts from home. All because you just want to do things fast and say, okay, no, don't disturb me, just, just give me this stuff. Okay, yes, whatever I want, go and take. So the day you get to say no, the whole house will, will be on fire. Life is too sweet to die early. All in the name of money. It's too sweet. Why can't you make the money? Trust me, there are a lot of business you will make and you make the money out of it. A thousand and one. Then you cash out big time. But are you willing to go through the process? That's the Hello. Thing. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Yeah, good evening. I can't. 
<laughs> May I know where you're calling from? I'm calling from you. From where? Yes. Okay, do you have a conversation? Yes. Want, do you have a con do you have a question you want to join the conversation? I actually have a conversation. You have a question? Um thing is most ladies in our society we are paying for Okay, I can barely hear you because your line keeps cracking, so I can barely hear you. Okay, so I think we'll let it go. So in case you get to hear this, right, please do call us back because I really do want to hear what you have to say, right? Um, life is beautiful. I don't think any parent should trash their child. I don't think so. When you teach your kids, teach them to understand that there are going to be a thousand and one people with a thousand and one belief system. Life is not hard, but do not let us make it harder. You go out there, you're looking for a young guy who is willing to stay with you for a while before he settles down. And they're telling me, give me 500 your relationship has ended. How? How? Dear women. Dear men. That's not one-sided, basically. It's not one-sided. Let us understand that there's more to life than this smoke smoke something is money there's more hello hello good evening welcome to late now with soul spice yeah good evening good evening man where you're calling from please hello hello oh god we lost her too Girls are no longer girls. Girls are now doing what even their parents couldn't do at their age. Life is not hard, dear women. Life is not hard. If you want to get married, marry a responsible person. Even when it comes to marriage, you can never, you can never be sure. You know, it's a blind spot. It's, it's a journey of no return. You probably might be lucky to pick one of the best. You probably might be lucky to pick one of the worst. There are so many of them. But how many of these men who are willing to pay 20 million would take her serious? How many of them would want to marry her as a wife? Like the other lady who called about her wedding, you know, she talked about how, um, you know, someone said, okay, you know what, let me have it for tonight kind of thing, right? No, I'd rather sell my books to eat. And the man paid her school fees for years. Now they're getting married. That is value. He has seen potentials. He has seen value. But when you come to me in the morning and by evening, I'm billing you. Ah, please, before we talk to me, I don't have time. Or if you want to give money, give money. Why am I money? The man is wondering. I don't understand. Why are you money for? What do you do? <laughs> if you want to talk, eh, we are talking now. But why am I money for? Folk can talk. And before you know it, the man, he moves on. He moves on. Because he doesn't see you valuable enough for him to keep. All he sees is someone who is valuable, who is not valuable for him to just use and pay off. Use and pay off. The truth is, if we do not, you know, if we do not make it happen for ourselves as women, and we think we need a man to make it happen, then we are not ready as women. If you go to most of their homes, you would find now, 
Right, you find out most of the things in that home the man bought. Right, most of them. I'm not going to say all of them, but most of the things in those kind of homes, you find that the man bought almost everything. There is no point. You make it look like a man must work for you to eat. No, why can't you work for yourself as well? Why can't you work to meet him halfway? Why can't you just try to even surpass the man's help? Who says a woman has to be on there every time? You can be by your husband's side, shoulder to shoulder, holding hands, and, and both of you start to grow. Life is too short. Enjoy it while you're alive. Anyways, on this time we're taking a break, and when we come back, we'll, be st we'll still take more calls and you know talk more. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice, and tonight we're still talking about you know money versus you know um, body, or should I say um, twenty million naira cash, and you run through me, lady, right? Um, the floor line, um, the, the call line is still open, so feel free to call in. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's her fault? Do you think this goes back to her parents? Do you think this has to do with home training? Do you think at all that this is who she really is? You know, some people just come and say things for clout's sake, right? Everybody wants to train. I'm not saying that's what she's doing. I'm just saying some people, right? So would you say that she's not who you know she proclaim, she um she proclaims to be right or would you say that she's just who she is and she's just saying her truth right i don't think i want to blame her parents basically i don't think i really want to blame her i think i want to blame the programming she got as a child the training you know even with the programming um it is just normal sometimes you know for experiences to train you, to retrain you, rebrand your brain. Your experience determines what you do. Some people, once they, once they fall out of love, they find it so hard to fall in love again. And so to them, every other person cannot fall in love. It's not working for them. Some people, because, you know, once they have something, they feel, oh, I have it. And it's mine. But they're not contented with what they have. They want somebody else's own. And so at this point, I think a lot of parents should understand that you have to teach your kids value big time now. It is right there in our faces. Teach them value. Let them know that this is the rule of this house. This is what we believe in as a family. Teach them contentment. If the shoe is what I can afford, wear it with your full chest. Wear it hoping that one day we get to change it. Or you get to buy something better. Right. We also need to help our kids speak up to us. A lot of children are having issues, but they cannot speak to their parents. So that's why we are having this. Can you see what I'm wearing? I'm wearing the sex conference. It's a free event. We are not charging anybody. We are not paying any gate fee. Come learn sex from over 12 sex packs. Come learn it. Learn sex for your children, learn sex for yourself, learn sex for your relationship, learn sex for your marriage, learn sex for every aspect of your life, from medical to the psychological to the physical to the emotional to the romance, you know, everything. We are doing this to help as many people as possible. It's coming up in July. And it's the first ever sex conference in Nigeria. We are going all out. Don't forget, it's a free event. So if you go on um, IG and search sex conference, you will see all the details there. It's a free event. We just want to teach people. We want to talk about the romantic part, the erotic part, you know, the physical part, the emotional part, the psychological part. Talk about from the medical point of view, from what you eat to what you look like, to self-esteem, to how your body feels, to sex after and before childbirth. It's a whole lot, trust me. I have so many lined up speakers, so many. So many from medical doctors to sex experts, 
to behavioral te um, um, therapists. There are, I can't even count them all. There are so many. Trust me. If you don't teach your kids, someone else will teach them. If you don't teach your kids, someone else on assembly ground will teach them. Someone else will not just teach them, but teach them the wrong information. If you don't teach your kids, they will learn themselves. And so, or let us get to that point of training our children. We're not just girls. Not just girls. There's so many boys that have, you know, entitlement mentality. It's my father's own. You see a 40-year-old man who cannot walk because his father has property. Practically waiting for the man to die, for him to sell and live large, live big. Why would you even want to leave anything for your children? Why would you want to... Build and build and build for your children. You think they would prefer your kind of house during their time? No. They would want to build something way better for responsible children. Though. They would want something, you know, that would work for them. That's the kind of kids we need to start, you know, raising. Raise them properly. Raise them to do it right, whether you are there or not. Raise them to speak right, to be respectful, to be responsible, to be content with what they have. Raise them to understand that they are queens and they can do it right. They do not need a man to pay them 20 million for them to use that money to buy something. No, you can make it legitimately. Don't put yourself under pressure. All these things are even shouting for bags, you know, restaurant designer, rich, everything. It will fade. Every year, new designs come out. So why kill yourself? What would, what, what would, what would fade? Why kill yourself? It's not worth it. If you do not have structure in place, then there's no need. There is no need. Because jobs like this for women who say, if you have 20 million, you run through me. It does not last. A job like this does not even sustain their old age. So the question is, what do you, you think, what are those things you need to imbibe in your kids now that they are young? Now they are pre, now that they are preteens, now they are teenagers. It's really hard to see a teenager anyways. What, what are you instilling in them? What are you telling them? How are you telling them to think that they cannot make it happen or they are too young or what? You can do anything you believe in. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. So to my parents, help this kid, not just the girl child, help the boy child too. Help them to understand and value and respect themselves for what they are and who they are. Help them to understand that their name is the most important part of their life, their name. Life can be sweet. Depending on how you want to live it. I wish you all the very best. I wish you in the peace of mind. I pray that you train your kids right. I pray that your kids will learn values. I pray that your kids will be content with what they have. Teach them right. And they will give it back to you. You teach them the wrong way, they'll surely be waiting for you. So, do it right. Every day, every time. It doesn't matter whether they're okay or not, whether they like it or not. They don't need to like it. The truth about it is, 
teach them to understand the reality of life. Because you won't be there every time. Life is beautiful. Life is sweet. But at the same time, be smart. Be smart. You have to learn to be smart. You have to learn to teach your kids right. Never say that, yo, she's just a child, leave her. No, there's no child anywhere. If your child can pick your phone and click, 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 and find herself, open YouTube at once, she's no longer a child. That means her brain knows. And so let us look into this well. Let us start to train them right and teach them right so that none of our kids will come up one day to say, if you give me 20 million, you can run through me. Life is sweet. Life is good. But at the same time, live it right and do it right. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Like I also said, do not forget the sex conference is coming close. It's a free event. We are not asking for anything. We just want to come together as sex coaches to teach you, to help you understand on every aspect of your life what you need to know. I can't wait to see you. For all the information you might want to know about sex conference, please go on the Instagram at Sex Talk with Soul Spies or sex conference page and you'll see every detail, location, time, venue, everything's there on IG. I can't wait to see you same time, same session next week. Remember, life is too sweet. So train them well to help make your life easier. Do you have a fantastic night like come your way in a minute one and only Soul Spice and Sex Galicia and God bless. Bye. <laughs>